My name is Maria Nassassiou. I am one of the senior dance teachers here at the Greek community of Toronto. I've been dancing since I was about six years old and I've been teaching since I was around 15. Um, when I was about four years old and I started kindergarten, along with kindergarten I started uh, Greek school here at the at the community and um, my brother was always really involved with uh, Greek dancing so when I turned six and I was finally old enough to join my mom enrolled me and I've been dancing ever since. With our dances we never just teach dances we always teach dances with history which regions they come from the story behind the costumes it's all about more than just the steps. We have a whole costume room filled with different costumes from different regions because uh, we want to make sure that they know the meaning behind it and they're not just wearing a long skirt with a funny hat. A lot of the dances they did in times of, of happiness or just preparing themselves for something that's going to be very emotionally trying. Greeks, for some reason, no matter what we're doing or where we're going, we got to dance first. In March, we celebrate uh, Greek Independence Day from uh, 1921. We uh, started our revolution against the Ottoman occupation and uh, every year the Greek community puts on this big gala and one of the main starting points for the gala is that the cultural department always performs and we always pull out something new and out of the box. As many performances as our kids can do, we just want to get them out there. We want to get that love of performing out there for them. We want to make sure that because they do have separate smaller performances coming up, the, we want to make sure that they're ready and that they look like a professional dance group because that's essentially what we're gearing them up to be is to be professional and to have fun and look like they're having fun with it. So once the technique comes, then the fun comes. My name is Dimitri Anastasiou. Uh, I have been working with the Greek community for over, this September will be 16 years. The community actually started in 1909 with a church downtown called St. George. Mm. Right, And because Greeks as a culture are very religious, they normally tend to congregate around their churches. And it was a way for Greeks to actually get to know each other, get to keep in contact with people who knew the language and could support each other and stuff like that. It was more of a way of keeping stronger ties to back home. These dances are danced in smaller villages. The dances that were done today are actually from the provincial region of Macedonia of Greece. So each dance, they have a step to them. and. Okay, each village will dance a different, just a little bit differently on tweaking the step, but it's more of just a regional thing that it's like how it's danced, how it's done. It's just basically, it's just a way for them to party. And it was a way for them to see each other. Very rarely back in the old days did men and women actually converse with each other. And it was a way of like, women and men to actually see each other, to get to know each other sort of thing. Well, the traditional dances that we did beforehand, they don't have a lot of words to them. It's more sounds and music. They do have words to them, but these particular songs didn't. They'll sing about anything. There's songs about the Aegean Sea. There's songs about um, how they grind pepper. Each dance it has a different song, different tune. So these are from like mainland Greece, there's a different sense from the islands of Greece and stuff like that. Right? There's not an easy way to explain it. For me personally, my way of getting out of the house and having my group of friends and not having to deal with, uh, with a lot of other stuff was the Greek community. It was the dance groups. I used to dance almost 40 hours a week. Get to actually you make fr lifelong friends. As much as we are different individuals. We all have that same common background, so yeah. you make friends a lot easier. These are friends that you have for your entire life. We really strive to preserving our culture and instilling it on the youth to make sure that they feel involved and that they grow up kind of knowing what their roots are, what their history is, and learn it in a really fun, immersive kind of way.